This is so exciting. I'm quite excited anyway. I hope you are too. Because I'm going to just uh, give a few words. So my name is Mark Cridge. I am chief executive of my society. And frankly, I see myself as the luckiest man in civic technology. It's great to have such a really smart bunch of 142 really smart, intelligent, very eclectic, diverse group of people um, from all over the world, 29 countries. Um, it's a really kind of great group. We have overwhelming evidence for what we don't know so far. We've really, we've worked out what we don't know to a much greater degree, but we've still got to do all the hard work of actually saying, what does this mean? Why does this stuff work? How does it work and how can we do it better? Because so much of civic technology is built on faith rather than on proof. And you, we believe this stuff works. You're in a heart of hearts, we really feel it but we don't really have the evidence base to kind of prove that yet. And that's kind of a, a lot of what needs to happen over the next few years if we're really to properly understand who this is really helping, in what way, and how we can do it better. A lot of the, the, the people that our services help is, are described as male, pale, and stale. You know, older white men, effectively, who are already fairly empowered last time I noticed. And as someone who is white, pale, uh, male, and potentially increasingly stale. You know, this is something we obviously um, take really seriously. There's a huge number of things in the world which really need to be addressed, and civic technology can hopefully help in a small ways towards some of them. If you think about climate change, inequality, corruption, the need for good governments, the need for transparency, these are real and present issues. Um, you know, this is very much a moment in time, and civic technology can have a real impact on some of these big intractable issues. Have a good couple of days. Thank you.